hypothermia will kill people, and the hypothermia kit has saved people's lives. It literally has saved people's lives. Uh, I remember a guy up on the river in the, in the ultimate Florida. He he was just, and he had his thermal kit, you know, and, and he got it out, and he did what he's supposed to do, and he was back in shape in a, in a half hour to an hour, and was able to continue with the race. So, uh, good to have. What else do I have in here? Oh yeah, I've got the very ultra ultimate important uh, five hour energy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes you got to use this. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then the other thing that's in here, um, I have a mini bivy bag. This this is a, uh, a, a survival frog mini bag. Um, uh, sometimes I have been caught in a situation where I had to anchor my boat out and I have no place to sleep so I just I just do the best I can here and get in a baby bag and I've actually had a pretty good sleep in some of them. This is one style, this is this is relatively new style. And then this is the SOL Soul baby bag. And this is the one when I told you about how deep I had to do it one time, it was in this bag that I did it. Um, it's a great bag, it's uh, waterproof, breathable and has reflector on the inside, so it, it's, it works really good. I have not used this one yet, uh, and I'm gonna try it and see. And that's about it for everything I need to go. Well, I, also in here, I have a um, an emergency stove in case my other stove, this this will burn wood and unfold into a real tree. This is, this is just got some what if this happens kind of stuff. Um, but normally on a daily basis, all day long, I dig in here to get my lunch. I, my gloves are in here if I need them, things like that. Um, another piece of gear that you have to have is a VHF. Okay, notice it's on the lanyard. And this lanyard expands quite a bit. So if I'm sitting in my chair, I can use this. Now, typically, I do not keep this turned on all the time. I only turn it on if I need to use it. Um, I would suggest maybe you have it pretty accessible when we start the race and we're going across Tampa Bay. Uh, we're going to have safety boats out there for the shipping channel. I need you to go through the shipping channel as fast as you can um, at a 90 degree angle. Don't go through it at an angle. Go through it straight across so you know when you're in it and when you're and when you're out. Um, but if if you if you need it, you want to turn it on and then put out your distress call. Uh, you might want to keep it on for the Tampa Bay section just in case somebody needs some help. But Tampa Bay can be the worst part of the race from that standpoint. Um, but definitely, it's got to be waterproof. Uh, and and I like I like the kind too that um, will. It's got I forget what they call it, but this but if you have this on, ships can see. You. They know you're there. AIS. Yeah. yeah. There's. I forget what. I, what was that? AIS. Yeah. You, you should have one that has that. And then if you see ships coming in, yeah, turn your radio on. You know. Or if you're in a heavy, heavily, you know, lots and lots and lots of power boats. Most of them wouldn't know that you got this, but every now and then there's a big power boat with a reasonable captain, and they'll know, <laughs> and they can they know where you are. Okay. And you're identifying it. Um, okay, enough of that. Now, what else do I do? I by the way, I'm going through what I consider my boat equipment. Um, this is my bag containing uh, three different kinds of lights. It's got a hand flashlight. It's got a small headlight. And then it's got a bigger headlight that's got four batteries in it with the battery pack on the back. And it's got enough spare batteries that I can handle anything that needs a battery for one day. Okay. Over there is another blue bag. Now I can go over there. That little blue bag there, that's got enough batteries to refill this whenever I need it for as many days as I'm going to be out. Um, so this bag goes in my center hatch. Also in my center hatch, I have my storm keg. That's the other part of this system. If you're a kayaker and you don't have a storm keg, get one. 
okay? If you're not a kayaker and you don't have a storm tag, consider one. These are outstanding, although this one probably needs to be replaced. Um, it's getting pretty old. But then, in, also in the center hatch, I have my uh, paddling clothes. So if this turns out not to be enough, I've got warm stuff to put under uh, this stuff to make it a lot warmer. Um, I've got a full polypro bodysuit in here. So if, it, if today it looks like it's going to be really cold, I'll put that on. Other, and I also have uh, like a, a, an NRS hoodie 